All right, so this is this uh, Tekton screwdriver set. It's uh, got 16 different screwdrivers. Um, it's got number uh, two number threes, two number twos, two number ones, a number zero, and then a number two uh, short one or stubby. And then uh, on the other side here, you got two five sixteenths, two quarters, two three sixteenths, um, an eighth, and a quarter. So um, this set is made in the United States. Uh, it was about 47, 47 bucks. So, um, the big thing is, I was thinking that I would take these to work, these Craftsman Professional, or I would have bought another set like this, but uh, Craftsman doesn't make screwdrivers like this anymore, and they're really generic. So, um, instead of going that road, I was looking for an alternative that wasn't like a Snap On or Mac that would cost me like 200 bucks for a set like this. So, I thought this would, should be. We'll see uh, a good alternative, so I'm going to open it up here in a second. So here's what it looks like out of the box. Um, they got markings on the end here, so I suppose if you had them uh, like standing up or in something, you know, if you had them in some sort of holder like this, you could just see the top. You can pull it out. Um, the handles have, it's kind of like a rounded off triangle, so there's three points to the grip. Um, the way I saw it demonstrated online is like one way is for torque and then if you go towards the top here where it's round that's for speed if you're spinning something off I guess. Um, they do make a smaller set which I think has, this has 16, one has 12 maybe. And that was 29 but it takes out like the, the big ones so like this 5 16 straight blade, the number 3 Phillips, I think this one as well. This point number two that's pretty long and this screwdriver here at least in the store that I was in if you were to buy this separate was like an eight dollar screwdriver so I figure it might as well just go with the big set and if I don't use some of it I can always have it at home here to use so it is made in the United States which is good um, I try to get as much of that stuff as I can I know with the Craftsman socket deal I didn't get that but I don't know that's just the way it's going to work out I guess because I'm trying to keep this on a budget um, and then I also picked up this hammer which is also made in the United States um, just to throw a, like a box at work or whatever um, I was looking for a 16 ounce this one was all they had was a 20 that should be fine um, like I said I really don't know what I need yet so I don't want to go like hog wild but I know like screwdrivers sockets wrenches uh, hammer stuff like that is pretty basic stuff that you'll probably need so so what that looks like. We'll go through the sockets next. All right, so socket holders. Now, like I just got done saying about uh, stuff made in the United States, I used these type of socket dividers or organizers. Tool Shop brand, which is just Menards. They're made in China. Uh, Menards does carry the Hansen, uh, Hansen ones and those are made in Two Rivers, Wisconsin, so it's USA made. Um, these were about five or six bucks a piece, and the Hansons were like, I wanna say 14. They would have been like 14 for these, 12, and then 10.99 for the quarter drive. So just in here, I think I got 50 bucks in socket holders, and had I gone the Hanson road, I figured it would have been about 150 bucks. Um, which I would have been okay with because the Hansons they come up so like all the sizes come through the socket holes so you can see them. The problem with that is this socket set and you can kind of see there's some open spots. Um, the Hanson didn't have spots for some of the sockets in this Craftsman set because uh, like I said some of those oddball sockets the uh, mm, what was it like the 1932 and uh, Here's another one, this one here maybe. No, let's see, I'm gonna put this one here. Inch and three sixteenths. That one as well, they didn't have a spot for. So I was like, well, that's dumb. So these, I think, are longer than the Hanson as, as well. So, you know, I just started with the smallest one, went up as big as this set would go, and then I put the extra back here. And then I ran these through. A um, Couple things to note. Boy, and these two sockets here look different than these. Like the chrome plating on them looks different. That's weird. Huh. Um, so this socket here doesn't fit down. Now if you look in the inside, you see the, how big that hole is. 
and it won't slide over this, which is odd because this one here, look how big that hole is, and it's a smaller socket. Same thing with this. So um, I don't know why the 15, 16 socket would have a smaller hole. I'm just gonna, and I tried already trying to drill it out, but I need a bigger bit. I'm just gonna drill it out some to make it slide over top of this uh, little thing, this holder point that sticks up. Um, I don't know, maybe that's got something to do with uh, coming out of China, the quality control isn't as good, but you, you tell me why the, the hole would be smaller on just that socket. That seems kind of odd. Um, what else? Yeah, these two, these two have the same problem too. They don't sit quite all the way down. They get hung up and then uh, the holes, the, the points here get smaller. So the points start out bigger and then as they go, they get smaller and sometimes that works. Not in all cases. Um, this one here you can see doesn't sit down. So what I have been doing is I'll take a razor blade and just kind of make that smaller by chewing off some of the edges there to get them to sit in. So um, that's that's what I've been doing and here's two other ones too. Because I don't want to drill these sockets out because there's not a, a lot there and it's not really the socket because the, the holes on these are all the same. It's just the fact that these points are too big. So um, if you do end up buying some sort of socket organizer, just know it's just not going to fall together or uh, slip together as well as what you think it will. There will be some modification that you might have to do. Also, all of these uh, had like tabs on the end for hanging them. I think for like display purposes in the store, that serves absolutely no purpose in a box. Like it's just going to take up space because that tab then comes way out here. So I just cut that off so that it will sit flat in the box. Um, what else was I going to say about this? Some of these bigger sockets, the 36 metric, and then this is inch and a half socket, they won't fit on here. There's not enough space in this rail. And like I said, the Hansons doesn't even go up. I don't believe it even goes up that high. I think it only goes up to inch and a quarter, or maybe inch and an eighth, something like that. So I think it goes up to inch and quarter. So like these bigger sockets, I'm just going to put this stuff on a socket rail and like these here, those are just extras. Like I can't get them to fit anywhere else. Um, and I wasn't going to buy another, another one of these for six bucks for those few sockets. And then like probably these three on both sets here wouldn't fit. So that's six sockets. So you might as well just put them on rails. Um, I don't even know how often you're going to use those sizes either. Like I said, I don't know. I'll know more once I get there and get going. I thought there was one here, this set here. Yeah. So this one here, this metric set actually worked out perfect. So it fit in here all the way across. Nothing had to be modified. And it starts at 27 and it goes down to 11 and that's half, 12 point. So that worked out well. But like this one here, the uh, six point set, the six point doesn't go all the way down. The six point goes to 12 and it starts at 21. So. It's just the way they make their sockets, I guess. Uh, the small drives work pretty good, like just the way they are. There's no, you don't have to do much uh, modification with those, and those will be just, just fine. I don't remember what these cost. I, these were like, like I said, five or six bucks. These are would have been a little bit less, and these would have been a little bit more or less than uh, the big ones here. So. Um, in a way of durability, I don't know how long to last or anything like that, but I, it's not like I'm going to be taking them out. The whole point is to like leave them in, in a drawer or whatever. So, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it works out. It would be nice if this would all fit in one drawer of a, uh, a toolbox, but I don't know. And from based on some of the videos I've seen too on like YouTube, this seems like a lot more sockets than what I've seen most mechanics have. So I don't know. Maybe this is too much, but. I wanted a decent set. And then also these eight point sockets, they really don't have a home either. I may just get another, uh, like one of those socket rails and just clip them on. Or I was thinking about getting a little plastic bin to put the sockets in and then along with this, the extensions and extensions and stuff like that. So, all right, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. That's this. And uh, once I know what's going on and I got this all on a toolbox or whatever I'm doing with it, I'll, uh, show you that as well. I'll also get this socket figured out here so it sits down nicely.